Welcome to Being at Home with George, and I'm excited to be here and to be with you during this time. So we begin each one of these sessions with this idea of embracing whatever comes up and at the same time generating the hope. So that's a possibility that we can create. It's not something that somebody does for us. It's something that we do for ourselves. We can create the possibility because we're co-creators. We create our experience. These are challenging times. In my mind, it's always challenging times, but these challenges we're facing today are pretty much in our face. If we talk about inflation or going to the supermarket or going to the gas station or buying medicines, it's very challenging. You can see the violence that's all around us. That's very challenging. You can see people feeling restricted or being told what to do. That can be challenging. And at the base of that is this feeling of powerlessness and this feeling of being alone or isolated. And one of the tools that I use to deal with these issues, to deal with challenging times, is what I call the four A's. There's the awareness, or awareness, the first A. And that really is just mirror mind or just letting things speak to us in its own language. So that's the first step of the four A's. The second step of the four A's is the acceptance. And one way of looking at acceptance is the embracing we talked about, saying yes to whatever comes up. Doesn't mean we love it or we like it. We just say yes to it, accepting it, embracing it, saying yes, it's here. I don't like it, but once I accept it, then I have the third A, which is action or compassionate action. And in this case, the compassionate action and this possibility of embracing and generating hope, the compassionate action is the skill of hope. It's generating hope. It actually means looking at things in ways where something happens and we interpret it in ways that inspires, motivates, moves us, where we connect the energy. Where we look at what can we do? What's the lesson? So this idea of generating hope and thinking about what we want to create, not being limited by what's happening, but being able to use our imagination to go beyond that and so that we can generate hope. We can say yes to things. So I talk about the proverbial glass being half empty, half full. This one, let's assume it's half full. That's the whole part is being able to see it as half full and not half empty. Now, both are right, but one is the opposite of hope. It gets us into feeling powerless or feeling hopeless. So this idea of having an attitude that looks at the sunny side of things or looks at both, but accepts and focuses on what we can control. And of course, the fourth A is assessment. And that's reflecting on experience, what worked, what didn't work. And then well, how do you get what didn't work to work? And so one of the things we have to understand is that true understanding comes from reflecting on experience. So we learn. So even if it doesn't turn out the way we want, we can reflect on it and we can redo it. We can do it again with the intention of making the adjustments, the changes, that we're talking about. And so there's the awareness and then the embracing and then the generating of hope and then reflecting on, okay, how can I generate more hope? How can I be more open or more saying yes to things? And I think about it's summer, you know, we've been in summer for over a week. The idea here is now is the time. And so can we embrace that summer is here? It reminds me of that song, Summer is here, the time is right for dancing in the street. You know, so maybe we're not dancing in the street, but we can dance where we are, but we can remember home is where the heart is. And so this idea of saying yes to summer and generating the hope, and for some of us that may be going to cookouts or going on vacation, or maybe it's just going outside and just sitting in the sun or going to the beach. And of course, this is vacation time for a lot of people. So even if we're not physically on a vacation, can we find, like we talked about before, these pockets of stillness where we can just say yes to whatever's going on and didn't remember the home is where the heart is. So can we be heart-centered? Can we come from the heart? And so there's a lot of things that might be in that awareness space, this idea of violence, actually. There's a lot of violence or feeling restrictions or this idea of inflation, you know, things are getting worse instead of better. There's a lot of things that we could focus on and not generate hope, not embrace them, 
but we can get into the blame and the denial about it. But what we really want to do is we really want to talk about this idea at the, the crux of the problem is feeling powerless and feeling alone. And we can do something about that by embracing, generating those four A's I talked about, awareness of inflation, if you want to talk about that, or feeling powerless or feeling alone. We can embrace it. And by embracing it, after we have the awareness of it, then the compassionate action is how do we connect? How can we create a space where we can observe experience? So I'm talking about the heart or the heart space or just being still and being able to observe things and realize that, yes, we can react to things or we can create space and in that space we can choose our response so i'm saying let's choose yes to life and let's choose generating hope and so we have this place where we understand something happens but then we get to choose how we relate to it we get to see it as half empty half full and so the way to generate hope is to see it as half full seeing that there's an opportunity and the difficulty is is a part of life. Anxiety is a part of life. Feeling powerless and, and feeling uh, alone or alienated or isolated. Those are feelings that come, but we can do something about them. We can learn, well, what's the lesson here of powerlessness? How do I access power? And find a lot of power in this idea of be still and know and realize that we get to choose that no matter what happens to us, we may not be able to choose what happens to us, but we can choose our response. And therein is the freedom and power that we're seeking. It's being able to accept things and say yes to them. And at the same time, generating hope and using our understanding, our wisdom. So developing the heart and the mind, the rationale. So being able to generate this idea of having intelligence or being rational and at the same time, being loving uh, so we can use our emotions to help us to get to where we need to go to help us to stay heart-centered and it's a thing I, I read in one of the books i think it was from eric butterworth and he talked about we use the word god or if you want to use power source or creative energy whatever you want to use with god the center is everywhere so that means wherever we are we're at home we have the center so the center is everywhere and the circumference is nowhere. So the center is everywhere. So wherever we are, that's the center of the universe. And the circumference is nowhere. So there's no limit to where we can be and still be at home and be where the heart is.